Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're gonna discover what the world's best niacinamide serum truly is. This is part of a series that I'm running here on the channel. We've already covered vitamin C, we've covered retinoids, sunscreen. If you've missed any of those videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist up there. Today though, it's the turn of niacinamide, which has been one of the hottest ingredients in skincare for the longest possible time. People fell in love with niacinamide for its ability to mop up excess oil in the skin, to even out a complexion, to calm, soothe, and even have some balance supporting benefits. However, as with everything, there are some ding 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 holy grail niacinamides and some wah 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 total fails. Instead of just reaching for what is popular, in this video I want to break it apart, apply some objective criteria to each and every one of the serums so we can work out what is really the best of the best. Sit back, relax, let's talk the world's best niacinamide. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your own take on niacinamide is. What's your favourite serum? Is this an ingredient that you just avoid altogether? Sound up in the comments section below and let me know. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to also leave this video a thumbs up and a like. The last video on peptides actually got over a thousand likes, which honestly is like mind-blowing. So let's see if we can beat that with today's video. So if you haven't already, if you could help me out, reach down and give this video a thumbs up. Honestly, it'd be so, so much appreciated. Today we're going to be using the same criteria that we do for every video in this series. First up is going to be points for formulation. Now any product is only as good as the ingredients that have gone into formulating it. Niacinamide can be a little bit tricky to formulate. You know, the science is always telling us that concentrations between 2 and 5% deliver you the maximum benefits with the minimum risk of irritation. However, brands always want to increase that, push it to the limits, which is why you'll see 10, 15, even 20% concentrations of niacinamide. You really have to formulate this ingredient well to harness all the benefits from it but minimize any risk of side effects. We're then going to come on to performance and application. How does the product feel on the skin? What results ultimately will we get from it? I've tried all the products that we're rating in today's video so I'll be able to share with you my own experiences. We're then going to come on to price point. I don't always mean the cheapest gets the highest marks, but if a brand is charging a little extra for their product, I expect a little extra for my additional hard-earned coin that I'm investing in it. And finally, transparency. Is the brand open with the concentrations, what the product's going to deliver, or are they using shady and misleading marketing to sell their product? All that's going to be covered in the transparency section. We're going to score 10 out of 10 for each and every one of these categories to give us some total of a score out of 40. As with the last video I've learned from the feedback that you guys have shared and we're going to be going from worst rated through to the highest rated at the end of the video which hopefully will help you guys just follow along a little bit easier. All the information you need on these products is in the description box below so let's just cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now the lowest scoring niacinamide serum comes courtesy of the Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare line and her The Good Niacinamide Serum. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, I have got history with the Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare line, something that I actually covered in a recent shorts video which I'll link up there. However, I believe in true objectivity and whilst this might not be my favourite brand, all brands have their holy grails and total fails and so I want to apply these criteria fair and equally across all the products that we're talking about today. Kicking off with formulation, I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10. Really well formulated, 5% concentration of niacinamide, which again, following the science, maximum results, minimum irritation. Niacinamide is a great antioxidant, and this is paired with vitamin E in this serum for some additional antioxidant benefit. It's got some extracts to calm and soothe the skin, and all around, I think this will give you a great, great range of different benefits from that niacinamide, and the ingredients paired alongside it will kind of just double down on them. I was really impressed with this formulation, and that's not something I usually say about the Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare line, because most of it is just poor formulation and overpriced tut. Not in this case. Now let's come on to the application and performance. For this, I'm going to give them a solid 7 out of 10. Nothing wrong here, I only got a very small sample in one of the skincare boxes that I subscribed to ages ago, which is how I was putting this through its paces, I won't pay for this full price. But, actually, I like the texture on the skin, super lightweight, sunk in without you having to really work it in, and it did all that really well with the rest of my skincare. I think, you know, the performance is good, though I maybe expected more for the price point, which is why I'm knocking a few marks off. Coming on to that price point itself, I'm going to give this a 4. I think this is being generous because, you know, at over £100, let us sink in, niacinamide is super cheap to formulate with. You don't need to spend over £100 for a niacinamide serum, which is why I think a 4 is pretty generous. But because they formulated it with some additional antioxidants, calming and soothing, I am saying you're getting a little more for the more money that you're paying for it, but honestly, it's just not worth it. Then finally, transparency. 0 out of 10. Now, some of you might think this is harsh, but honestly, I don't think it is. So this is a brand that kind of demonizes other skincare brands to get their sales. 
I'm not all about that. And also, I don't like it when also most of it is just misleading. So they say that niacinamide serums traditionally have trace elements of nicotonic acid within them that can really heavily sensitize the skin. This actually isn't the case. You know, if it's formulated well, very, very few of the niacinamide serums on the market will have nicotonic acid as part of it, which is kind of like some of that niacinamide can convert within the serum to create this. So that's a little bit misleading. She says that they get around this by using a higher grade version of niacinamide, which just isn't the case. Nicotonic acid is actually created as a result of things such as heat, pressure, alongside other things like UV wavelengths of light, not specifically the quality of the niacinamide that you're using. So all of this is just demonizing other brands to kind of get your cash registers ringing. And honestly, they'd ring better if you had a lower price point. Definitely not all about that, which is why this scores so, so low on the transparency. So the sum total here is a 21 out of 40. Kind of nothing to see here. Let's move on. Now let's move on to the second lowest rated niacinamide, which is actually going to be this one. The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is the product that kind of kicked off the niacinamide craze and was probably most people's experience, first experience with this ingredient. However, this doesn't score that highly for a couple of reasons. Let's talk first about formulation. Well, this is going to get a 4 out of 10. That's not just me being harsh. Actually, the niacinamide in here is in a higher concentration than the science suggests you should have. But beyond just that, you know, I'm going to be a bit forgiving on that measure because most of the products formulate with a higher concentration. But the base formulation in here is just really, really stripping and drying on the skin. A lot of people notice if you put this on damp skin, it kind of foams up, which first of all is not a nice user application or experience. But that's because some of the harsher ingredients in here actually mimic the appearance of surfactants, the things we use to cleanse our skin. That's why they're stripping, drying, and foaming. And honestly, I think the ordinary need to go back to the drawing board with this. It's not the niacinamide that's causing the issues, such as the dryness, the redness, the purging. It's actually the other ingredients used alongside it, which is why this scores so, so low when it comes to formulation. In terms of application and performance, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. Again, it comes back to the fact that if you use this on damp skin, it foams up, which makes it impossible to work into the skin. It's quite tacky. It's a little bit greasy feeling on the skin. Not the best user experience. You do get a really good performance if your skin can tolerate a higher concentration of niacinamide. But for most people, this will cause redness, peeling, irritation, purging. So just all around, I think this is a bit of a meh score when it comes to performance and application. Price point, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. You know, it's the ordinary, it's super affordable, one of the most affordable that's actually on the market. Knocking a few marks off for the fact that actually I think paying just a tad, tad more for one of the other brands is going to get you a better experience and performance. Then finally, let's come on to transparency, where they're going to score an 8 out of 10. Again, they can't be too harsh on this because they do tell you the concentration, even if I think it's a little high, but I think they could be a bit more transparent in who this is actually going to work for. I think better for oily, acne prone skin types really should be avoided if you've got a drier skin type. For a grand a total of 25 out of 40. Now, moving up the rankings, we're coming on to the Inculist Niacinamide Serum. So, this comes in a 10% concentration, the same as the Ordinary, but I think it's a vastly improved base formulation alongside that niacinamide, which is why it scores higher. So, in terms of formulation, 7 out of 10. It's scoring higher than the Ordinary because whilst they're still using that niacinamide in too high a concentration, in my opinion, the base formulation is way more hydrating. You can actually use this as a hydrating serum rather than just a niacinamide serum in isolation, which I love. Doesn't strip, doesn't dry, and you're going to get a lot less redness and irritation from this product than you will from the Ordinary. In terms of how it applies and performs, so, so good. You know, you get a really nice smooth application, sinks in better than the ordinary, and you'll get better performance in the long term than you will from the other two products that we've already mentioned. And I, I think this is a really nice budget-friendly option, which kind of comes onto the price point, nine out of 10. Eight pounds here in the UK, which I think is a really fair price point for a niacinamide serum. Bearing in mind how inexpensive niacinamide is to formulate with. And this is really good. I not them one mark off because they've had two rounds of price increases in the last year, which I think is a little bit excessive. But you know what? Even at eight pounds, I think this is definitely, definitely worth it. Finally, for in terms of the transparency, a 7 out of 10. They do tell you when you ask them that this is a 10% concentration of niacinamide, but you kind of have to ask. It's not there front and centre on the bottle, which is why I'm knocking a few points off for transparency, but they do disclose it, which honestly is to the Inculus credit. And overall, this is scoring a very respectable 30 out of 40. 
Now, coming in at just one point ahead of the Inculus, we have the Naturium Niacinamide Serum 12% plus Zinc 2%. So this one is one that's available very readily in Target. I think they store their products and online in the States and Canada. Can be a little bit tricky to get here in the UK, though I do think Naturium will be launched in the UK at some point in the next 12 months. Their Niacinamide Serum was one of their original serums in the collection. I think they now have over 100 products, but this was one of their original formulations. And honestly, it does work relatively well. Let's start with the formulation first. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. This comes with a 12% concentration of niacinamide, which honestly, like I keep repeating, way in excess of what the science says is actually beneficial for the skin. With this, you might get some enhanced benefits, but you're going to get a whole lot more risk of redness, peeling, and irritation. However, they've offset this by including it in a dimethicone base. So those silicones aren't going to buffer the skin against some of that niacinamide. So actually, this 12% is probably going to act more like an 8% when you look at the overall formulation. This is why I think, you know, it's deserving of a 7 out of 10 rather than a lower score, which a 12% would normally get. You also have some nice calming and soothing ingredients in here. It's more than just a niacinamide serum. It's also going to help regulate the oil levels in the skin, calm and soothe the complexion. So I do think you're getting more benefits than just from that niacinamide. In terms of application and performance, 7 out of 10. Actually, much less irritating than I expected. And I think, again, that's due to that dimethicone being on the ingredients list. You also get a really silky smooth application. Glides onto the skin, Feels really, really nice, super lightweight, and applicable for, I'd say, just about all skin types. Because it's hydrating, it won't strip and dry like the ordinary one did. And overall, I think you get a good user experience out of this. Now, for the price point, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. I think, you know, for this, you are getting a little bit more than what you're getting with some of the other formulations. It's actually not super expensive. It's $16. If you want to import it from the States and get it here in the UK, you do have to pay some additional shipping charges, which is disappointing. But if you're just going into Target, or you can get this at your local drug store in the states $16 I think is a really fair price point for the formulation and really how this is delivering in terms of hydration and some of the buffering against that higher potency niacinamide Finally, in terms of transparency, this is getting a 9 out of 10. Now, before you all read me to filth in the comments, I know when this was launched with the whole Nutrium launch, it was like the least transparent launch in human memory. So it's not that launch that I'm going to give transparency marks to. It's this individual product seen in isolation. I don't personally buy from Nutrium. It's a personal decision and everyone has to make their own. But I'm rating this product for transparency, not the overall brand and that shady old launch. So just to caveat that, I'm giving them a 9 out of 10. They tell you the concentration of all the key active ingredients. They even tell you the pH of this product, which is really important because the lower the pH, the increased risk you're going to get of sensitivity. This is matched the skin's natural pH of 5.5, which again is why, even though you're using a higher concentration of niacinamide, it seems less irritating than some other options. Options. Definitely, definitely worthy of those higher marks for the transparency for this product in isolation. And they're getting a sum total of 31 out of 40. Just one point ahead of the Inculist. Now, I've saved the best till last. And honestly, this serum knocks the others out of the park. This is what I call a true holy grail. And if you want to reach for a nice cinnamide, I would definitely be recommended the Alpha H Vitamin B Serum. So, formulation, 10 out of 10. You've got that nice cinnamide in the 5% concentration. The right concentration following the science. You've also got some panthenol alongside it, which is another great B vitamin to calm and soothe the skin. You've also got some copper peptides in here, which means it acts as a peptide serum alongside just a niacinamide serum, which is great. Copper peptides can boost the barrier function of the skin like niacinamide can. You've got some added antioxidants in here alongside the antioxidant benefit of the niacinamide. It's just a wonderful all round, really great multi-purpose serum. In terms of the use, application and performance, 10 out of 10 glides onto the skin. Lightest weight of all the ones that I've mentioned today. You get great instant benefits from a plumping of the skin. You definitely notice the skin's calmer and soothed than it was prior to applying this. You get the long-term benefits of those copper peptides. You get some antioxidant benefit. It's just a wonderfully well-performing product that has a great, great application. When it comes to the price point, 8 out of 10. It's, you know, not the cheapest brand on the market, but you're certainly getting a whole lot more when you think of what you're spending your hard-earned coin, because this is actually acting as a copper peptide serum and a niacinamide serum and a hydrating serum all in one. So it's kind of like that three in one, which is why I think this is super worthy of that slightly higher price point. Finally, we're going to come on to the transparency, 9 out of 10. The concentration of everything is included. They tell you the pH of the product. You really just can't ask for more. You do have to do a little bit of digging to find that information, which is why I'm knocking a mark off. But all told, this is getting a sky high rating of 37 out of 10. 
40. Definitely, if you're in the market for a good niacinamide serum, skip the barbarous terms, move over the ordinary, and definitely reach this niacinamide serum by Alpha H. Such a great product and definitely worthy of the title of the world's best niacinamide. So there you have it, guys. A rundown of some of the most popular and best-selling niacinamide serums ranked using this criteria. Do you agree? Sound off in the comment section below, wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.